Anyway, this is the one I really wanted to show you. This is our famous lignum vitae. You Google it, you'll see that it's this, the, the distinction is made between genuine lignum vitae, which this is, and Argentinian lignum vitae. This lignum vitae, the genuine lignum vitae, being the densest wood in the world. It's heartwood, it's used to make bearings, bearing balls for hydroelectric plants. Can you imagine that? Tell you how hard it's supposed to be. Anyway, what I'll show you here now is the grain. This is a bit of sap wood here. This is not the heart. Still has quite a nice figure to it. Not brilliant, but a nice figure. Okay, now we get to see what's happening. This is the heart coming through. See, it doesn't even want to get wet. Water's pooling up on it. That's the heart. No, it's part of a branch. This is a Y, actually, in the tree. With smaller branches coming off here. So what you can see here is that the heart of this wood the heart of this wood which is beautifully figured. Runs from one end to the other. Not really enough light. Anyway, slice through here, you should get beautifully figured scales entirely of hardwood. Slice through there, going to the middle, going right through to the middle of that piece. Theoretically, it should be impossible to stabilize. It's twice as dense as desert ironwood. So I'm told, or so I, I read on the internet when I went on and, and checked it out. Google Genuine Lignum Vitae. It's available in the States. Uh, from wood suppliers but not for export. It's a, it's a restricted export in the States because it's a very rare wood now. But this has come from a tree that was taken down years and years and years ago. But it is a very rare tree in Barbados right now. And uh, I don't think you're allowed to take down any more unless they're a hazard. So yeah, that's it. It's heavy. It's real heavy. I'll go get a scale, check it out. Hold on. Okay, 1.26 kilograms or 1260 grams. Three pieces of mahogany. I think roughly 
same similar size to the one piece of lignum vitae. One piece of lignum vitae is 1.186. So 1186 grams. So it's just short three pieces of mahogany. But I'll tell you, just the way it feels. Lignum vitae feels heavier. Hmm. I'm gonna sit back on. Okay, I'd say it's actually two pieces of mahogany to one piece of lignum vitae. So 833 grams. Versus 1186. Two different pieces of mahogany. 842 grams. One piece of lignum vitae, 1186. So it's significantly heavier. One piece of mahogany, 425 grams. 416 grams. 416 grams. 417 grams, 416 grams. So all of these amazingly, although they've just been rough cut, are very, very similar in weight. But this boy, doesn't matter how you put it on, it's 186 grams. But the key to this wood is the fact that this nicely figured it's really nicely figured and grained heartwood runs as a unit from here right through to the other side which is brilliant so we won't so if this was used for knife scales, you wouldn't have any need for any of the sap wood on the knife scale at all. And that is the difference between lignum vitae and mahogany. I'll just put some more water on these mahoganies and let's see if we can see. There's quite some quite nice greens running through these mahogany. Nice greens running through the mahogany. See, I think this is a matching. <laughs> matching two marks. It's just having to pick two out of the box that match up exactly. Well, let's have a look at this. It's the heaviest piece at 425 grams. Fairly straight grain. Sanded and polished, it's gonna have a nice look though. Sanded and polished, it should be really nice. This one doesn't look too bad. This one looks quite nice, actually. Yeah. Make a nice 
nice scale. And then there's this one. There you go, that's a nice looking boy. It's from further out on the log. Not quite as close to the heart. Bigger, open, more open grain. Very pretty, very nice red wood when it's done. You know, with a French polish, you get a nice mahogany. You get a nice dark black. I'll show you that and some furniture. This is some antique mahogany furniture. You see, it was praised for this sort of deep, dark, slightly reddish look. This has had a lot. This has had some French polish and whatnot on it. used for years in Barbadian antique furniture, mahogany. I would think that um, another place you would find this possibly is like a Windsor Castle or something like that where, where, or some of the old English manor houses where woods came from the West Indies and were used in uh, See the claw feet, ball and claw. Yeah. So that's it, really. That's mahogany and furniture. And um, mahogany raw. Actually focuses better out, out of it. So yep, yeah, that's the difference. Again, mahogany furniture. That's for the French polish shellac. It's been lacquered over and over the years, but French polish shellac, methylid spirit. Linseed oil, rubbed on, sanded off, rubbed on again, sanded off, rubbed on again. You don't get many people doing that type of finish these days. Anyway, that's about it. Bye for now.